the story of the Golden Gate one pick at a time. Well, it's on to our new segment, People Are Talking. Oakland City leaders are joining the fight between the A's and the ballers. And we've just learned that two city council members have sent a letter to the Oakland A's president, Dave Cavill, asking him to explain why he canceled the ballers' minor league game at the Coliseum. Last week, the ballers said that they signed a contract and put down a deposit to host a game at the Coliseum this upcoming June. But according to the ballers, the A's decided to enforce a clause in their stadium agreement that prevents any other professional baseball team from playing there. Mm. So we went to X. Why not? To see if you think the ballers should be allowed to play at the Coliseum and check wow. it out. 82%, an overwhelming amount, says yes, G. I'm not that surprised, right? I mean, I think a lot of people feel like, okay, if you're going to leave A's, give us something to enjoy. And come on, there's a lot of love for baseball, not just, you know, here in the city or on this side of the bay, in Oakland, in the East Bay. Yeah, and you know what? I see a trend. I see when the people of Oakland speak out and say something, I don't see a lot of response. We often tell so many stories where Oakland people are like, listen to us. This is what we have to say, and yet we don't actually see it translating into action. It's There's frustrating. There's nothing that bothers me more than a sports facility that's empty. Yeah. Right. It may not be state of the art, but if someone can use it, get them on the field. For sure. Absolutely. Well, the Oakland Ballers posting on X as well. If anyone has a 25,000 seat venue in Oakland <laughs> that are they're willing to rent out for June 29th, reach out. Give him a call. You know, many fans posting their suggestions on social media. Rich Siegel is saying he wouldn't count out that bigger Oakland Stadium just yet, saying they're a big fan of the team and its management. Awesome work, which is great mm. news. And another one asking the team to ask the city or county to extend the A's lease and make it contingent to allow the ballers yeah. to use it. That one comes from North Las Vegas. Las Vegas <laughs> is sounding off about what's going on. So we have a lot of questions about the decision. And here to answer some of those questions for us this morning is Oakland's baller co-founder, Paul Friedman. Good morning. So I just have to start here. Ideas are currency. And when you have a situation where you need ideas, like Oakland, why is nobody cashing in on the currency of the ideas you're bringing? Um, well, I think that they are. I mean, I think with the, we've really ignited something in the fan base. The idea, the fundamental idea is that we get to decide, Oaklanders get to decide whether we have baseball or not have baseball. And so far, it seems like overwhelmingly Oaklanders want to have baseball, mm -hmm. and they want us to be able to celebrate that fact. And that was the whole idea behind the Coliseum Night. But is what about gonna... leaders responding? So far, that the, I mean, I think that they have. I okay. mean, just this morning, I was reading about Council Member Kaplan, Council Member uh, Jenkins, asking questions about why, whether we can have a, a game at the Coliseum. You know, they seem very optimistic that okay. they can work with A's leaders on making that happen. We, we'd love to see it happen. I think it would be great for everybody. So when you look at your team and, you know, what you're expecting from this team, what level of play? Because I know a lot of people are looking at the Pioneer League and Minor League. Are we talking single A, double A, triple A? What type of talent are you guys going to get? Well, we're not in that system. We're independent. Sure. So what that means is that we get to put our own players on the field. We're not going to be an Astros affiliate. And in the independent leagues, we think we can put the best independent team together uh, in the country. And that started with our very first signing. We signed D'Andre, who won the batting championship in our league last year. And I've been talking to a lot of A's fans, and they say they're used to having batting champions, but usually after they leave the A's, not the year before they come to the, to the team. What's your response from the players? Like you said, you're, you're making signings and bringing people on board. Like, how are they feeling about maybe coming to play for the ballers? They've been so excited. You know, you could see the, the signings on Instagram. Um, and every time we do a signing, we talk to the player. And so far, they've been so excited, and they've been thrilled. And that actually helps us build the team. Right. It's, it's sort of unique. Everybody in our league, everybody at this level is a free agent. They can go anywhere. Yeah. And they, can, they choose to go to our team in part because of the reception of the fan base. So the more the fans get excited, the better the team can be, and it really builds together. It's not just about acquisitions. It's about a mission, right? And Oakland needs that drumbeat. Uh, uh, yeah. O Oakland is the most of this diversity in the world. If America is a melting pot, we are the crucible. And we should be rooting for Oakland. Right. Everybody should be rooting for Oakland. Well, it's funny. So I have two boys, 14 and 12, and we are a baseball family. Their father played professional baseball. And so, of course, when and we were season ticket holders with the A's. So when the A's left, it was devastating for us. But then when you guys came along and I told them the story, immediately the face lights up because yeah. this is a place you can bring your friends. You can go have that baseball experience. And so to not be able to play at the Coliseum, you know, even if it's just that one game, is such a hit for you guys. It, How can we help you? Well, it, it, it was disappointing. <laughs> Um, it's, it's disappointing, but we haven't given up hope, right? We haven't given up hope. The Coliseum is still there. <laughs> we still want to play there. 
and if, you know, maybe the AIDS leaders will change their mind. Um, and if, you know, if we can do anything about it, we'd really appreciate it. Like reaching out on social media, say, hey, anyone have some space to let us play? Yeah, and we're still waiting for that call. So if somebody has, you know, a 25,000 25, seat venue in their backyard, you know, please reach out. We'd love to play that. <laughs> and put on one heck of a game, right? No matter what, we're going to put on one heck of a, ga a game. And it's not just us. It's not the players on the field or the management. It's the fans that yeah. put on the heck of the game. It's the fans that bring the drums. It's the fans that bring the flag. And, you know, wherever there is a sport, there will be Oakland fans rooting for that team. So the hard-hitting question here, what are the concessions going to be? <laughs> they're they're, they're going to be great. I mean, we take okay. concessions seriously. Uh, they're yeah. going to be local. We take vendors seriously. Nice. We're, we're in negotiations with epic uh, vendors like Hal the Hot Dog Guy. He's tough. Okay. We're, we're hoping to You're sign speaking him. my language. <laughs> I love it. Keep it local. No, and I mean, it's just so much fun being at minor league baseball, too. I just It's a big old party, so we're excited about that for sure. And we're hoping to throw a lot of parties and have at least one at the Coliseum. All right. Well, you are a party. We're glad to have you in the studio. You come back anytime, Paul Friedman. Thank you so, so much. Thank you.